Now there's some guys in Miami that had this idea from Chinatown in Cuba. It's called La Caja China. It's a box, a hot box that cooks this stuff. Remember the turkey that we did. Do you remember the trash can turkey? 90 minutes we had a 12 pound turkey cooked. Convection, charcoal, the exact opposite of that. Four hours we can cook a whole pig. Now, we're gonna have a temperature gauge in this animal while it's cooking so we make sure we get that internal temperature up to 175 or so before we flip it. We're gonna put a little dry rub on the outside of it. This is my homemade dry rub. A little dry rub on the outside. You don't want this animal wet. Turn it back over, inject it with a simple marinade. Two parts orange juice, one part pineapple juice, two tablespoons of oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, and a bunch of fresh garlic, which we're gonna mash up here. We'll make this simple marinade. You put it in a little cage, clamp it down so you can turn it over. So what we're gonna do is basically strain the solid parts out of the juice. So we're gonna do two, three shots after we strain it and get the solid parts out. Now save those solid parts, because you're gonna want that to go loosely on the top side of the pig. Three shots in the hams, a couple in the shoulders, and you are good to go. At that point, we're gonna put more dry rub around on him and he'll be ready to go. Now, we're gonna take this guy, take this rack, set it down inside the box. When we get him in there, again, belly side up. Now I'm gonna stick my thermometer down in there. The deepest part of that ham. I'm gonna rig that to come up here and go underneath of that. All right, now how cool is this that the directions are inside the box? You can't mess this up. Our pig is definitely over 50 pounds. So what we're gonna do is start out with 16 pounds of charcoal in the beginning. I use self-light because it's so simple and we're not actually cooking food over the charcoal. We're just using the heat from the charcoal. And I'm not gonna start counting my first hour until it gets nice and white and I know it's ready to go. Now most of the time, when you see us do a recipe, it's something we've already done. This is an experiment for you to see. It'll unfold right before your eyes. Let's see how it does. I'm hoping this is as magic as I think it is. Because can you imagine cooking a whole pig in four hours? I can imagine it. In fact, I'm thinking about it. After one hour, you add eight more pounds to the existing charcoal. All right, it's been an hour. The smells coming out of this thing is tremendous. Eight pounds. After the half hour, you're gonna put 10 pounds on. After that last half hour, dispose of the ashes, turn the pig over, then you score the skin and let him go for about a half hour until you get him just like you want it. Look at this guy. He looks good. See that right there? Wow. That's when you know it's done. That skin is so delicious. We're not gonna eat it right now because it makes too much noise, but wow. Now, one thing we did find out about La Cajashina is it should take four hours. Now, this is a bigger pig. Because it was cool, you might have to put a little more charcoal on and let it cook a little bit longer. You did good. But look at that, that's the color you want. That's the texture you want. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. The only thing is, the guy I got the pig from asked for a small pig. <laughs> he gave me a big pig. So I invited some of my friends over. You did. To let them eat the guinea pigs. Good idea. And let's chow, how about that? Okay. Good morning, guys. That's good, crunchy. I'm going in this loin here. Look at that. Here's some more skin. Mm. That's like the best, the skin's the best. But 
now we're going to chow.